All right, so here I am back. I'm ready to mix my palette. Uh, just remind me, this was the uh, first layer. Let me get it down here where you can see. This was the first layer, which was just a glaze of color uh, with the uh, Gamlin Cold Wax Medium and the oil paint. And I put it on, I just smeared it on with my bowl scraper. Very lightly, a lot of the white is showing through. I went in and made, um, uh, lift it up with a palette knife, just scraped through it and made lines and designs which exposed some of the underpainting. That was the really just the um, mark making I did with oil pastel and pencil. So you can see there's a lot of color and values and designs and things going on it. It gives me a great place to go in and start working from. So I'll put it aside because I'm not going to paint today. I'm just going to show you how I mix the palette for it. So we're going to start out. I'm, the two colors that I used in the underpainting were the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber. I'm going to use those two colors again. So I'll squeeze a little bit of that out. I'm going to get enough so I can mix it with the other colors. Because that actually is what I'm doing today. So I'm going to mix lots and lots of color with a very limited palette. And I'm going to add in a new color, which is Hansa Yellow Light. I thought about an orange, and that probably would have been great too, but I'm, I'm thinking that the yellow with the black and uh, the brown will give me, and it'll, if I want some greens, I've got lots of ways to get green. I'm not sure what I'll want yet. And then I will have enough of the, this is white. So I'll have enough of that white to mix with other colors. And also the black. All right, put those aside in case I need some more of them. Get this out of the way. And this is the cold wax. I'm just going to a small palette knife and mix about equal parts in the pools of those colors. So I mix it with the blue. The cold wax just gives the oil a little bit more body. It's great if you're a palette knife painter because it gives it enough body that you can build up nice layers with the palette knife without wiping off any of it. A little bit more with the brown. If you hear that noise, it's my dog crying at the door. Mike left and went on Aaron and Louie's upset that he left him. Because he likes to go. And then with the black, a good bit of black there, so. This is really fun, and I would encourage you to um, spend time mixing colors and see what colors you come up with, uh, with from a limited pa palette. Pick two colors and black and white, or three colors and black and white, and let's just and just see what you come up with. This is a lot. 
go. these little baby wipes um, to clean my palette knife and my bowl scraper off with. It works really well. And my hands. So I'm going to take um, some of the black and some of the white. And make a gray. And this one's going to be a, a really dark gray. I'm going to take about half of that down. And add about half the white to it. Once you squeeze it out and mix it, uh, don't be stingy with it when you're mixing other colors. Use what you need, and you can always mix up more. I'm going to take about half of that. So you see I'm doing it in three values. And believe me, this is enough for a huge painting. I, I'm going to have much more than what I need to finish what I've started. But sometimes I take the leftover paint and just take a canvas or paper and just start a new one. Just start applying. So now I think I'll take some of that and add some blue to it. Give it a cooler tone. I'm noticing that um, my paint is very soft and, and um, a lot looser, thinner. It's because it's very hot today. This has been a record-breaking above 100 degree weather. So we are, and I have the air conditioner not too low, and now I'm going to mix some of the yellow with this. I'm just seeing what kind of tones and colors I'm going to get. That's a very pretty grayed green. I like that. And I can add white or the lighter grays to it um, as I paint with it. I'll show you how pretty that will be with a little bit more um, white. Isn't that gorgeous? And now I'm going to mix some of the brown with some of the yellow. Let's see what would happen if I mixed even more with it. What I was saying about the cold wax, if the cold wax, if it's a very, very cool, then you'll find that, that the cold wax will tighten up. Because it's beeswax and mineral spirits, so it's affected by the heat until it dries completely. Once it dries and hardens, it's not affected by the heat so much. That's a, that is a green, too. I don't think you can probably see that on the um, camera, but it's a real, actually, it's a real putrid green, just very, very it. But it could serve a purpose, so I'm going to leave it and see if I'm going to use it. Kind of, you know, it would be great for rock-looking things and moss. So it's a good color. 
All right, now I'm going to mix some of the blue. I think I'll take some of that and mix with the yellow. A much brighter green. Take some of the black by kind of going under the colors, my main colors. Then, when I go to remix, I know where I got the colors to make that mixture. So, that's important sometimes not to just randomly go over your palette, kind of keep them in an order um, going down from your main colors. The intermixing between. Uh, I know that this is a secondary, so I brought in another color. You can make a little note until you kind of get a system going for yourself that you added blue. Just put a B there, and you'll know it's that color, and you added blue. And this was the gray that I added yellow to. So if you need to, make your little notes. And this is black, and I'm going to add yellow to the black. It's still very dark. Doesn't take much of that black, but it is a dark, dark olive green. Mix some more yellow with it. Now you can kind of see the, the green color better. I'll mix even more, more yellow with that. So I put out more yellow. Now the, the cold wax and the oil dry faster than just the oil by itself. But you can put it in a sealed um, container and um, or put saran wrap over it and then put it in a concealed container and keep it for a few days um, as long as you keep it kind of airtight and in a nice big pile it will it will not dry it might make a, a skim over it that you have to pull off there's more yellow with that beautiful green beautiful olive green so look at the greens we have we've got that Pretty olive green. We've got this very opaque brownish green. And then we've got this very opaque because of the white in them. This didn't have any white in it. It was just black, black and um, yellow. So it made it very attractive. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful shades of green. So let's see now, what do I want to mix? Let me take a little white and mix with this brown and yellow and see what I have. Just a very neutral, beigey color. So 
take a bigger, bigger portion of the yellow and just put a little bit of the gray, mid value of the gray. And that's another new green, another green. A little, you can tell it has more yellow in it. But it's grayed down by the gray, which is the combination of the black and the white. So really it's this, it's, it's another proportion of mixing the black and the yellow to make the green like we did here but it also has white in it because we pre-mixed it with white. There are so many possibilities. And if you keep a very simple palette, instead of adding a lot of tube colors to your mixture, then your painting will be unified because they all have things in common. So always choose a simple palette and then learn to mix variety by mixing them together and redo and changing the value of them. I think this is going to be a great start. I can see I'm probably going to do the next layer with these colors. And then the next layer, I will probably add a lot more white and make some, uh, some pure white, some real creamy white, some yellow white, and a blue that's almost white, and, uh, and mix that palette different come up in value a little bit, even lighter, and um, see where I go with that. So again, the possibilities are endless. This is not a you have to do it this way. But what I'd like to see everybody do is take a simple palette, choose three, three color, well, yes, three, three colors plus black and white, and do some mixing, experiment with it, and see what you come up with and post your results on our Facebook page and share the colors with us and let us know how you liked it and what you found out, what surprised you. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.